I think one of the biggest things that is that it has left very little room for dialogue. It leaves very little room for people who are actually struggling with issues. Uh, often, I think people feel scared to speak up or say the wrong thing. Um, and in doing so kind of default to a political group or party that really just offers them the least resistance to membership rather than one that is actually the best fit. And it's left a lot of people feeling homeless in the church and in politics. Uh, and the faith of presidential candidates, as you mentioned, has often been up for discussion. Uh, but it's funny because these days I really don't, I doubt that the general public is worried that Joe Biden is going to be taking orders from the Pope as uh, folks were with Kennedy. It's, it's, if anything, I think it's almost the opposite, where much of the criticism of his Catholic faith seems to be coming from his fellow Catholics uh, all along the political uh, spectrum, many of whom feel that maybe he isn't taking enough direction from the Pope on whatever issue it is that they feel strongly about. And I do think authenticity and character, particularly of candidates and, um, and of ourselves in the process of determining who the best candidate is, it matters, right? And it, uh, particularly given the power that goes along with the role that these particular candidates are vying for. But I worry that sort of in an attempt to claim or renounce a candidate, we too often end up creating essentially a witch hunt, right? That betrays the actual core of the Catholic beliefs we're purporting to defend, right? Which is to love one another. It rarely do these discussions feel like they're coming from love or working toward a place of love. Uh, in many ways, we've really let, as Father Malone mentioned, that, that our nation's political divide create those same divisions in our, our parish life. Uh, and I think this kind of demand for a purity uh, of religion or ideology allows us to sidestep the messiness that Pope Francis has called us to embrace. It's really easier uh, to draw lines, but much harder to actually live life when we refuse to allow that messiness and the nuance into uh, our conversations, our neighborhoods, our friendships. Uh, but I think for Catholics, the implications of that division within the church are more heartbreaking, right? There's the church is meant to be a home. The political party is not meant to be your home. It's not going to save you. Uh, it's not going to be there for you necessarily when no one else will. The church is meant to do that. Uh, but sometimes it really feels like we're allowing politics to dictate who feels welcome in that home of the church. And it goes back to a lot of um, what you were talking about at the beginning uh, as well, Kathy. And I think re really what we need to do is become a church that helps to transform those parties and those politics and the policy as we try to build a better home for everybody.